caloric restriction and testosterone. And if I recall correctly, the idea was that if somebody is overweight, they have excess fat adipose tissue, then getting rid of some of that adipose tissue by, through caloric restriction and exercise, provided it's done not too fast in a healthy way, is going to be beneficial for testosterone in the long run. But that for individuals who are not carrying an excess of body fat, caloric restriction is actually going to lower testosterone. First of all, do I have that correct? And second, are there any addendums to that that you'd like to, to give us now? That's correct. Um, if you look at an individual in a caloric deficit, several changes will happen. One is that they'll have less building blocks for hormones. Another is that they will be in a catabolic state more often so that balance of anabolism and catabolism will be different. They'll likely have less signaling from growth hormone and IGF-1. And they'll also have the high SHBG that we defined earlier as the binding protein. Their free androgens and free estrogens will go down. 